Hey everyone, it's Josh. I uh, wanted to prepare you guys for something. Haverkamp's lawyers, whoever they turn out to be, and I'm going to guess they're probably going to be lawyers that attend Cornerstone or have something to do with Cornerstone. They're probably going to dig into my past and they're probably going to try to use my past against me. So you guys are going to hear a lot of stuff about me. Now here's the good news. I don't care what they find out about my past. My past is out there. I have always admitted to my past. I have always admitted to the things I've done in my past. And uh, I'm almost proud of my past. Not like I'm proud of the bad things I did, but I'm just proud of where I came from to where I am now. You know what I'm saying? But them bringing up my my past, well, whenever they decide to dig into it, I think they think it's going to help them a lot more than what it really is because... Again, I'm out there with my past. And like, what are you going to do? Are you going to try to argue in court that I'm still hanging with gang members even though my last arrest was 25 years ago? Is that, is that really where you're going to go with that? So, I mean, they're going to try to bring up my past, which won't probably help them too much in court because I don't hang with gang members no more and I haven't in 20, 25 years. But it'll probably turn some public opinion against me. So, you know, I'm kind of a, I'm preparing you guys for that before it happens. Now, they're going to try a lot of dirty tricks on me. But the good news is, is that I don't have a whole, <clears throat> a whole lot to lose. I'm not running some big real estate empire where I have like this huge reputation I need to protect. They are and they do. You know what I mean? So, I've admitted to everything about my past like a bazillion times to a bazillion different people because I'm not ashamed of it. Like, I mean, I'm ashamed of it in the fact that it was sinful, but um, I'm not, you know, I went from hanging with gang members to being, a, to going homeless to being a college graduate. And that's a really good story. And I'm proud of my story. But they're going to try to bring up like, parts of my past where I was getting arrested all the time and I'm um, affiliated with gangs and all that stuff. That's what they're going to do. I know they're going to do that. And they're going to try other stuff too. They're going to, you know, bring up any sort of hearsay they can about me or whatever, but that's what they're going to do. So I'm just letting you guys, I'm just preparing you guys for that, uh, for that, for whenever it comes. Me personally, I don't care what you guys know about me because I'm who I am. You know, I would be embarrassed about my past if it was like within the last couple of years and I was still trying to basically bury it. But it's so far in the distance now that like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? How often do you hold something against somebody that they did 20 years ago? Yeah, I burglarized some homes and I beat some people up and I did some stuff 20 years ago, 25 years ago. You know, so do what you want with that information. That's about all.